Sometimes when you're trying to combine pictures, the background of one of your pictures is very busy and it's not so easy to get rid of it. What you can do is use a mask to hide it and then you won't be able to see the busy background. So let's get started. So here's a picture of the person I'm going to add to my landscape. So now I'm going to, now that I've got this opened, I'm going to go open my landscape. Okay. So I've got my move tool selected. And now I'm going to click and hold it down, drag it up here, still holding my button down, drag it here until I see that white arrow pop up. Okay, my white arrow did not pop up, but it will on your computer. So now I've got my picture here, but I want to make it bigger. So I'm going to hit Control T, and then I'm going to drag out the corners until she's like that big something like that and then I'm gonna hit enter or I can also hit the check mark at the top of your screen all right so here she is so now what I'm gonna do is go over to my layers palette and I'm gonna add a mask on her layer okay so this is the picture and if I click on the picture there'll be these, this like white uh, box around it. But then if I click on the mask, there'll be a white box around that. So when we're working on the mask, we want to make sure there's like a white box around it. Okay. So then I'm going to come over to my toolbar and I'm going to be using the brush tool. So the brush tool is right underneath the spot healing brush tool, and then the clone stamp tool. So it looks like a little brush. We've used it before. All right, so if you click on your brush and you don't like what brush pops up, you can go up here and click on this little um, folder, and then this brush settings box will appear, and you can change it to a regular brush, a regular round brush. Okay. So I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger and I'm going to move this back over. And now when I down here at the bottom of my toolbar, I want it to have black and white, but I'm not going to click on it and try to select black and white because I want pure black and white. So if I just click on these little boxes here, my true black and white will appear. So whichever one you want on top, so like I want the black on top because I'm gonna paint with black. So I'm gonna click on this arrow and then my black appears on top. If I click on the arrow again, my white appears on top. So I'm gonna click here so my black appears. Okay, and my mask has the lines around it. So anywhere I paint, in here, this is going to block, okay? It's gonna block out whatever I click on. So I don't want any of this stuff in my picture because I wanna make it look like she's in a different background. So I'm gonna get as much as I can with this big brush and then I'm going to go back in and refine it with a smaller brush. Now I'm pretty lucky because her, the sky behind her will kind of blend in to the sky here. So it won't be such a big deal if I miss a little bit. Okay, so I've got the majority of it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my brush so that the hardness is set way down because I want it to be like soft edges, not these hard edges. So if I zoom in, I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so if I have my brush's hardness set to 
it's going to make these very um, crisp lines. But I don't want to do that because I'm probably not going to, um, you know, do this perfectly. So what I'm going to do is soften the edges so I can get pretty close. Okay, so now when I do it, if I get a little close, I mean, of course, my brush is kind of huge, so let's make it small. And then when I get close to her, it kind of softens the edge a little bit. So if I don't get it all perfectly, it's not that big a deal. All right, so obviously you're going to make mistakes, right? So when you, like, if you go like this by accident, you switch it to white, and the white will bring her back, okay? So when you want to get rid of something, you set it on black, and then if you want to go back in and reveal it like her leg, you're going to set it to white. So I'm going to zoom in close to get her leg. And then I'm going to ooh, get her flip-flop here. And then I'm going to switch it to black. And I'm carefully going to go around the edges. Okay, so I can get a lot without having to get too close, right? Okay, and then when I want to bring back her calf, I can do that. Okay, so say I want to get rid of the stuff over here. Okay, and I'm going to go inside here. I'm going to get rid of all this because this is from the picture of her. Okay, and I'm going to continue around the edges until it's just the parts of her that I want and all my edges are taken care of. So I can't tell at all that she's from a different picture.